Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn an SH figure Star Lord into an SH figure Quicksilver. Now, the Star Lord that we are using is a knockoff because I would not spend $70 just to make a custom. Since this figure is a knockoff, we're going to have to do some fix up on it. And I will start a series where I buy knockoffs and I show you how to fix them and do other types of tutorials about knockoffs. Now, as we open the packaging, we can see so far that the only problems that we have with the figure art Star Lord is the neck and the foot. So we're gonna take the figure apart and then we're gonna fix those. To fix these or to take the figure apart, we're gonna have to boil some water and just gonna have to put the figure in the water for about two to three minutes and just let it sit. Once you wait to two to three minutes, you can take the figure out and you can start pulling the joints apart and it will be super easy. Now for the toe joint, we're gonna have to keep bending it and flexing it until it breaks apart and we'll be able to articulate it. As you can see on this toe joint, it's a bit stuck. So we're gonna have to take either an X-Acto knife or any type of blade. We're gonna have to dig under the toe joint in order to articulate it and just bend it. And voila, we fixed it. Now that we got our figure dismantled, we're gonna have to start painting. But first, we're gonna fix the neck problem. So as you can see, the head on the neck is a bit too short. And when you put it on the body, it does not look good at all. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna sculpt an adapter piece. I did the same thing for Thanos. And when we sculpt it, we're going to have to make sure that it fits onto the neck and into the head at the same time. The sculpting clay or modeling clay that I'm using is called DAS, D-A-S. You can get it for about $4 at Staples and about $6 on eBay. DAS is an air dry based clay that you can use on multiple things as far as like dioramas, sculpting, body parts, and all of that stuff. Now for this part, you do not need a lot of clay. So it's only take a little bit and just stuff it inside the head until it fills the entire inside of it. To further help with the sculpting of the adapter, take something that's rounded and stuff it inside the head to make sure it can fit on the neck properly. Then you're gonna take your X-Acto blade or any type of blade that you have to cut under the chin and then the back of the head to make sure you have room for articulation to look up and down. After that, fit the head onto the neck peg and just let it sit and let it dry. It should take about a few hours, so you'll be fine once you start painting it and it should be done by then. And now that we sculpted the adapter, you can see that the neck is not that short. For painting, I'll be using some Liquitex, which is a heavy body acrylic. You can use any other type of acrylic paint, but this brand is the only brand that I got. But just a heads up, this brand is very, very expensive. The one that I have is $40, so do keep in mind about that. Now for the colors of Quicksilver, we're only gonna need three. Only colors we're gonna need are black, blue, and white. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I posted a design of Quicksilver that I was gonna make for this custom. Now, this design is gonna be pretty simple. So all we're gonna have to do is just paint the torso black and then add some highlights of blue and white. So we're gonna paint the entire upper body black, which is gonna be pretty simple, except for the joints. I recommend sanding down your joints in order to paint them because it makes it easier for them to work without the paint coming off. Now that we got everything painted, as far as the torso, we're gonna start fitting it together. Since we have the torso painted all black, we're gonna start doing the designs on it as shown in a concept picture. Now I recommend using a thin brush, like the thinnest brush as possible that you can use for the white outlines. Now that we're out the white outlines, we're just gonna fill those in with blue. And then we're done with the torso. Now it's time to paint the arms. The arms are pretty basic. We're just gonna paint the entire forearm blue, and then we're gonna paint the shoulder blue. And that's about it. Now for his jacket, it only has blue accents and highlights. So we're gonna just paint the buckles and buttons blue on this jacket. And now we're done with the jacket. After we painted the jacket, the torso, and the arms, we're just gonna start fitting it together, including the butterfly joints. And we're done with the torso of Quicksilver. Now, Quicksilver has a silverish white hair, so we're just gonna paint Quicksilver's hair all white. We're also gonna take some black paint and then rub it out on a napkin and just paint his beard a different color. Sort of like a dry brush. We're also gonna paint his eyebrows black just to differentiate his face from looking like Star-Lord. Then we're gonna just dab it with a napkin and clean it up a little bit to mat it out. And that's how I turned the SH Figuarts Star-Lord knockoff into the SH Figuarts Quicksilver. Also an update on the Quicksilver figure, I painted the pants black and blue so it can be like an Avenger suit for a future film that I'm planning on making. And now we're done with Quicksilver, so enjoy these photos that I took.
Hey, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial video. Uh, the next tutorial video will either be how to make a 112 shirt out of a medical mask or it might be customizing the ZD Toys Scarlet Witch. But uh, I'm gonna leave you guys alone and hopefully you learn something from this video. So yeah, and if you make anything that I make, uh, be sure to post it and tag me.